Hi, I'm Fadi Kanavati, and I'm going to do a short presentation of our paper, Partial Transfusion on the Expressive Influence of Trainable Batch Norm Parameters for Transfer Learning, which is a work done by myself and my colleague Masayuki Tsunaki at MedMain, Japan. Transfer learning from ImageNet is the go-to approach when applying deep learning to 2D medical images. The approach is either to use a pre-trained model as a feature extractor, or to fine-tune the pre-trained model, either fully or just the top layers. Most modern convolutional neural network architectures contain batch normalization layers. The layer is composed of trainable affine parameters gamma and beta, and non-trainable parameters that are moving averages of the mean and standard deviation. The presence of the non-trainable parameters means that the layer operates in two different modes depending whether it is in training or inference. During training, the batch statistics are used directly and the moving averages are updated. During inference, however, the moving averages of the mean and standard deviations are used directly. This dual behavior means that it could lead to unexpected results during fine-tuning and it requires taking a few precautions which is why the typical advice is to keep the layer in inference mode during fine-tuning. In our paper, we decided to look into the effect of the batch normalization layers for transfer learning, focusing, however, on the trainable affine parameters only, where instead of fine-tuning all the model parameters, we'd only fine-tune the trainable batch norm affine parameters. For our experiments, we performed comparisons between different transfer learning training methods. The first one is the usual of using the existing model as a feature extractor and only training the fully connected classification layer. The second one is first training the fully connected layer and then fine tuning both the fully connected layer and the full model. The third one is the proposed approach of first training the fully connected layer and then simply fine tuning only the batch norm affine parameters. The fourth one is training the fully connected layer while updating the moving averages of the means and standard deviations of the batch norm layers. This is so as to provide a comparison between the trainable and non-trainable weights of the batch normalization layers. The fifth one is a baseline model with random weights instead of image net weights and only training the fully connected layer and the batch norm layers. We ran our experiments with four different model architectures, each having a different total number of trainable batch norm parameters. We used seven publicly available datasets consisting of chest x-rays, cells, OCT, and histopathology. We performed three repetitions of each experiment and computed the classification ROC-AUC for the different models and datasets. Overall, we observed that fine-tuning always led to better performance compared to only using the model as a feature extractor, which was expected, and we also observed for the majority of experiments, that fine-tuning only the batch norm affine parameters led to similar performance as to fine-tuning the full model parameters. And that is the main conclusion of our paper. The result of this is that it can lead to faster convergence compared to fine-tuning the full model due to the considerably fewer number of weights to train. And it would also lead to better performance than simply using the model as a feature extractor. Here we show an example of how to implement this in TensorFlow, where the only modification is to set only the batch normalization layers to trainable and in inference mode. You can find more details and experimental results in our paper. You can also find the code on the following GitHub page. Thank you.